Doomsday plus Decisive Killing plus Absolute Interests plus Rebirth plus Beautiful Legion plus System plus Hoarding of Supplies plus Natural Disasters plus Darkness plus Powers plus Mythological Descent plus 10,000 Tribes plus Laws plus Fantasy, the Apocalypse erupts, Zombies run rampant, Ferocious Beasts hibernate, Natural Disasters continue, Order collapses, Morality degenerates, and Human Nature distorts. Night King M.O., who lived for five years in the apocalypse, was reborn ten days before the outbreak of the apocalypse. Stock up supplies, collect goddesses, and establish a women's army. When mythological creatures come to life, thousands of races stand, and the challenge of human survivors has just begun. Chapter 1 Rebirth You are listening at NovelFull.audio The image is sourced from the internet. If there is any infringement, please contact us to delete it. Darkness is approaching, and all beings are sinking. The era is coming to an end, and the heavens are burying themselves. The spirit without a master, deluding to glimpse the past, present, and future. You, be executed. Ding. Arriving at the origin of the collapse, the ancestral star emperor prisoner. P.S. Main text. Hmm. This feeling. Dichio. The Yan Huang Empire. Tianhai City. Hanlong Mountain Villa, outdoor swimming pool, large inflatable water bed. Yi Jun half opened his eyes in a daze and couldn't help but take a cold breath in his mouth. It's worth having a beautiful dream before I die. Just as Yi Jun murmured softly and closed his eyes to savor. Suddenly, a fragrant breeze struck. A girl wearing a black swimsuit bikini was lying in Yi Junmo's arms, speaking with a coquettish tone. Late at night, have you woken up? Yi Jun, who closed his eyes and pondered, suddenly opened his eyes and stared blankly at the woman speaking. Then, looking up in amazement, he looked up at the surroundings. Familiar open.air garden, clear pool water, magnificent villa and the blue sky and white clouds in the sky. What is this? Panlong Mountain. I have already died with that corpse king, what's going on? Isn't this a dream? The woman in her arms heard Yi Junmo's ambiguous words. Seeing him scrutinizing the surrounding environment, his small hand, as white as jade, swayed in front of her and asked with a puzzled expression. Yi Xiao, are you dreaming? What kind of corpse king? What kind of dying together? Upon hearing Sophie's voice again, Yi Junmo grabbed her fair little hand. Looking at the delicate person in his arms, his heart raced and he couldn't help feeling excited. Am I, going back to before the outbreak of the apocalypse? At this moment, Yi Junmo is still in a state of confusion and shock. However, after five years of experience in the apocalypse, he has also developed a strong heart. Although he still couldn't figure out how to be reborn at this moment, he quickly suppressed his excitement and calmed down. Raise your hand and look at the famous watch with a calendar on your wrist. September 1, 2124, 1.31 pm is this a return to the ten days before the outbreak of the apocalypse. After five years of apocalyptic decline, Yi Jun will never forget, on the morning of September 11, 2124 at 8 o'clock. The originally scorching sun was covered by a thick crimson blood cloud. Next up. It is a mist of blood that permeates the sky and floats in the air. Instantly spread across this blue planet. Blood mist is like an invisible radio wave, penetrating everywhere. In less than ten minutes, countless animals and plants transformed into bloodthirsty beasts, entering the body through the pores and facial features of living organisms. And 70% of humans have also become walking corpses who only know how to drink blood. The remaining 30% of humans who have not turned into zombies have also had their bodies strengthened. A very small portion of humans, due to the blood mist, gradually break free from their physical constraints and acquire various powerful abilities, becoming powerful like cows, soaring on roofs and walls, and breathing in the wind and rain. At the same time, Various electronic products were invaded by blood mist and all became ineffective. 
That night was a ten-hour long rain of poisonous blood. The blood rain has eroded and polluted global water resources and the earth, making it even worse for humans who had previously escaped the army of zombies. On this day, the world has undergone earth-shattering changes, and humanity has entered an era of jungle law full of bloody storms and the law of the jungle where the law of the law of the fittest prevails. On this day, the end of the world comes. In later generations, people referred to this disaster as, the first natural disaster, the Great Purge. As time passed, surviving humans could never wait for official rescue. Hunger and fear fill everyone's heart. And the dark side of humanity has also begun to expand infinitely, with situations such as exchanging children for food, sibling violence, and marital violence becoming more common. Ding! The 99,999th system restart. The restart was successful. Connecting. Connection successful. A series of mysterious and quaint voices, unable to distinguish between male and female, kept ringing in Yi Junmo's mind. Yi Junmo, who has just accepted the fact of rebirth. After hearing the voice in my mind for a brief moment, my eyes were instantly filled with surprise. System. Ding, host. Lie down. Upon hearing the sound of the system again, Yi Junmo couldn't help but burst into a foul language. It's like a little cow riding a plane, it's so amazing. What is surprise? This is the surprise. Ding. Novice gift pack. Claim. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a bottle of divine level basic evolution potion. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the detection. I congratulations to the host for opening the system storage space host panel. Name. Yi Junmo, age. 25, height. 181, realm. Ordinary people, power. 12, agility. 10, constitution. 13, spirit. 10, note. For ordinary adult men, the average 4.dimensional attribute is 10, 1 point of strength is equal to 10 pounds of strength, and so on. The higher the basic attribute, the stronger the ability after awakening. Appearance. 92, full value of 100, ability. None. Item. Detect the celestial eye, not fused. Divine basic medicine liquid. Increases the basic for dot dimensional ability by 10 times, and can be used by those with special abilities. System space and storage capacity. With a radius of 9.9 .9 kilometers and a height of 9.9 .9 meters, the system space is in a stationary state and cannot collect live objects. If the host wants to collect objects, they need to touch any part of their body. Detecting the Eye of Heaven It can detect all information of any creature within its two great realms, as well as the favorability of all species towards its host. Likelihood 50% strangers, 60% ordinary friends, 70% friends, 80% relatives, 90% loved ones, 95.100% unwavering until death, with a goodwill rating of less than 50% being hostile. The beginner gift package has been distributed to the system warehouse, and the host only needs to use their mind to retrieve it ding. After the end of the world, the system will gradually activate other functions looking at the blue framed panel of the system that only he could see in front of him, Yi Junmo was stunned. Evolutionary Potion He knows this thing. In the third year of the apocalypse, surviving humans develop this evolutionary fluid. It can double the basic four-dot-dimensional improvement. The basic four dimensions are crucial. If the basic four-dot-dimensional is 10, then awakening to a first-dot-order superpower is 20. If the basic four-dot-dimensional is 20, then after awakening it will be 40, and so on. It simply doubled the combat power of the superpower. It is precisely because of the development of basic evolutionary fluids that humans have withstood the subsequent rounds of natural disasters. Otherwise, humanity would probably have been completely destroyed. P.S. Power level, from high to low, SSS, SS, S, A plus, 
A, B, C, D, E, 9 power levels. Realm, level 1.6, King Realm, Emperor Realm, Quasi Emperor, Emperor Realm Each major level is further divided into four sub-levels. Early Stage, Middle Stage, Late Stage, Peak Stage. Chapter 2. The Power of Overlord. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Watching Divine Level Evolution Liquid increased the foundation by ten times. Even Yi Junmo couldn't help but widen his eyes and breathe quickly at this moment. How late is the night? Upon hearing Sophie's voice, Yi Jun never regained his senses and looked at the school flower of Tian High Conservatory of Music with a smile in his eyes. Seeing her fair and jade like skin, with a curvaceous and curvaceous body. A pair of beautiful eyes exuding autumn waves, with a hint of confusion. Let the servants prepare some meat. Yi Jun patted Sophie's jade back and instructed. I haven't had a good meal in the last five years, so I must be satisfied. Oh my, okay. Sophie smiled and took a sip on Yi Junmo's face before jumping off the waterbed and swimming towards the edge of the pool. Looking at Sophie who had already landed, Yi Junmo's eyes lit up with a hint of smile. This woman is not bad. In the previous life, before the outbreak of the apocalypse, Sophie was holding a morning meeting with him at the company. He and Sophie did not turn into zombies. Sophie hid in the warehouse to cover him up and was bitten alive by zombies. When Sophie used her life to cover him up, he was still a bit unbelievable. In his heart, he always believed that Sophie was interested in his money and that Sophie was a green tea. It was precisely because he hid in the company's small warehouse that he escaped and awakened the S. Metal ability in the five elements. The awakening of supernatural powers relies entirely on luck. If there is no chance, don't try to level up your abilities. This ability is like a talent, the stronger the awakened ability level, the higher the room for improvement. Yi Jun doesn't remember once encountering a spatial awakened superpower. That person awakened the lowest level E spatial ability. Apart from the addition of four dot dimensional attributes, there is only one storage space that can store 10 cubic meters of material. After being discovered by a team, it was turned into a small mobile warehouse. I heard that while searching for supplies, I was divided among zombies. As for the food in the storage space, with his death, it also sank into the sea. Shake off the thoughts in your mind and take out divine level evolution fluid. This is a golden liquid filled like a small experimental tube. Opening the lid and taking a bite, a scorching sensation instantly filled the mouth, slowly reaching the stomach through the throat. Suddenly, Yi Jun doesn't just feel hot and dry all over. Waves of strange itching hit from all over the body from the inside out. Thick odors of sweat instantly filled the surroundings. A few minutes later, I looked at my body covered in a faint black oil stain evenly distributed abdominal muscles. Yi Junmo clenched his fist, feeling the explosive force in his body. Undoubtedly, it is a divine level evolution fluid. It is not an exaggeration to say that it possesses the power of a king. Under the full force of this punch, may it not have a thousand pounds of strength. Perhaps this is the true limit for ordinary people, as it means breaking free from physical constraints. Host. Yi Junmo the image is sourced from the internet. If there is any infringement, please contact us to delete it, Realm. Ordinary People Power 100, Upper Limit, Agility 100, Upper Limit, Physical Fitness 100, Upper Limit, Spirit 100, Upper Limit, Appearance 96, As Expected Looking at the System Panel, Yi Jun couldn't help but smile in his eyes. System Fusion Detection of the Celestial Eye Ding! In the process of fusion, a refreshing feeling rushed through the pupils, as if two drops of icy cold water had been dripped into them, forcing people to close their eyes. Ding! Fusion completed. Upon hearing the sound of the system, Yi Junmo slowly opened his eyes and a bright light flashed by. The already bright and deep pupils. 
At this moment, it is like a starry sky, making people unable to help but fall deeply into it at a glance. Dong. I saw Yi Junmo spinning 360 degrees in the air, falling into the swimming pool and washing himself up with oil stains. Late at night, the meat is ready. Upon hearing this, Yi Junmo came to the swimming pool and walked step by step toward Sophie. A gentle breeze brushed past, and droplets of water slowly dripped onto the wet hair. A handsome face with deep pupils. And a cold and bloodthirsty temperament that has experienced five years of apocalypse. Unconsciously emanating from his body. Sophie looked at Yi Junmo, who was walking towards her step by step a pair of bright and beautiful eyes stared at him intently, stunned by his changing temperament at this moment. When Sophie looked at the deep and indifferent pupils of the Night King M.O., she spoke uncertain and asked. Is that you, little knight? Character. Sophie, height. 171, realm. Ordinary people, appearance. 91, ability. None favorability. 93% seeing Sophie's favorability, Yi Junmo's indifferent face showed a long lost smile. Who am I? Why haven't we seen each other for a while? I don't know each other anymore. No, it's just. I suddenly feel like you've become handsome again from a young knight, and I remember your abdominal muscles aren't so even. And your gaze, why haven't I seen it before? It feels so cold. Sophie raised her delicate jade hand and caressed Yi Junmo's abdominal muscles, her tone mixed with doubt. That's because you paid less attention. Ignoring Sophie's doubts, she will naturally understand in the future. Now, let's eat first. Then use 10 days to stockpile a large amount of supplies. With this 9.9 kilometer radius of system space, as long as the money is in place, the amount of goods stored is simply countless. First, take care of the company and purchase some essential items in cash. Hello, Wang Dong, 3 billion yuan in cash will be processed by our group company for you. Will you accept it? What? 3 billion. At night, your company has a market value of over 4 billion yuan. Are you joking with me? And your company is still in an upward trend with good development, with a minimum urban value of 4.5 billion yuan in less than a month. Wang Dong across the phone heard Yi Junmo's words with a tone of surprise. If he had believed Yi Junmo's words, there would have been a ghost. There is no such good thing in the sky. Acquiring a group of over 4 billion yuan, which is currently in a period of great growth and development, for 3 billion yuan. Yi Junmo glanced at him, his eyes wide open beside him, staring fixedly at Sophie. In a very serious tone, Wang Dong replied to the other end of the phone. I'm not joking with you. I plan to travel around the world with my little girlfriend. Three billion yuan is enough for me to be carefree for a lifetime. Yi Jun was originally an orphan and was adopted by an elderly wealthy man without children since childhood. The old rich man passed away two years ago, and this multi-billion dollar conglomerate was naturally left to him by the old rich man. As for why not mortgage it to the bank? Billions of loans cannot be released in a day or two. After completing various procedures, it is estimated to take a week, and there is not enough time. It's better to find a big culprit and solve it directly in one day. More than three billion is enough for him to hoard supplies. On the night when the apocalypse is about to come, with the dominant power he currently possesses, he can still make a crazy zero yuan purchase. Kid, are you not afraid that your father will come out of the grave and settle accounts with you? This is his hard-earned foundation. Upon hearing that Yi Jun seemed to be joking, Wang Dong also became energized at this moment. If we were to acquire 3 billion yuan, we would definitely make a huge profit. A group company with such a good upward trend is like pie falling from the sky. I don't know if my dad will crawl out of the grave to find me. I only know that 3 billion is enough for me to travel around the world. Today, you can send someone to my company to investigate and see if there are any problems. 
If there's no problem, we can sign the acquisition contract this afternoon. Okay. I'm going abroad in a few days, so I'll send someone to investigate immediately. Please prepare the documents. Chapter 3 Wang Hao You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 4 Storage of Materials You are listening at NovelFull.audio Heaven and Earth the most bustling entertainment and dining integrated leisure venue in Tianhai City. In a private room, several of the largest wholesaler CEOs from various industries in Tianhai City, each holding an A4 paper. Holding the paper that Yi Junmo had just handed over and seeing the various supplies written on it, several wholesalers were simply stunned. A total of 10,000 tons of various vegetables. A total of 10,000 tons of various fruits. There are various types of meat, with pork being the majority, totaling 10,000 tons. Seafood, edible salt, rice, flour, drinks, various spices, various snacks, candy, biscuits, instant noodles, self-heating hot pot, self-heating rice, hot and sour powder, hot sauce, boxed yogurt, boxed steak, dumplings, wonton, rice dumpling, okamoto, etc. are also countless. As long as it is something that can be eaten or used in the supermarket, it is basically on the A4 paper list. Just now, Yi Junmo told them that these supplies are all used for charity. Of course. This is just an excuse. As for cigarettes, gasoline, medical equipment, medicines, etc., we can only wait until the end of the world before making a crazy purchase for zero yuan. Looking at the shock in the eyes of several CEOs, Yi Jun asked with a smile on his face. Ladies and gentlemen, how is this deal going? I know that more than nine days is indeed a bit difficult for everyone. But I believe in your abilities. More than 2,000 large trailers slash refrigerated vehicles, shunted from all over the country, should not be a problem for you. I can charge an additional 20,000 yuan for each trailer, with the requirement that all goods arrive at the designated location by the early morning of September 11th. Not to mention the amount of money, just transportation is a big problem. If a trailer weighs 25.30 tons, 200 vehicles are needed for 10,000 tons. The total amount of supplies he needs is nearly 120,000 tons, which is 2,200 trailers and large refrigerated trucks. Fortunately, it is located in the big city of Haikou, Tianhai City, and there is not much problem. After hearing Yi Jun not speak, the few of them whispered and discussed. No problem, Night Sparrow. As long as the money is in place, all the supplies you need will definitely arrive at the warehouse location you mentioned in the early morning of the 11th. We will fully support Night Sparrow's charity work. Upon hearing the words of several CEOs, Yi Junmo picked up his red wine and took a sip. I can pay a 50% deposit to each of you now, and then sign the contract. All payments will be settled during the day of the 11th. Several wholesaler bosses laughed at the words, and they picked up their glasses and drank them all in one gulp. After signing the contract, Yi Junmo left the private room holding Sophie's soft little hand. They are all good people. Yi Jun couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Pay a 50% deposit, which is equivalent to 7 billion yuan in supplies. After the blood rain pollutes the earth, not to mention finding a fresh vegetable in the early apocalypse, it's just eating leaves. If not purified, ordinary people are prone to poisoning. The psychic is fine, as their bodies have evolved to be immune to many mild viruses. Nevertheless, in the early post-apocalyptic period, it was even more difficult for psychics to have a fresh vegetable to eat. After all, vegetables, fruits, and the like will rot in less than two days and are not easy to preserve. As for meat, not to mention it, it can only exist in fantasy. Only half a year after the end of the world, the psychics established the city and began to rely on themselves. Various forces converge in the city. After the members of the group had the power of light, they cleared out a wasteland and purified a polluted land, 
gradually giving humans a place for self-reliance. Even if there are light-based beings who purify the land, water-based beings who irrigate it, and wood-based beings who nurture it, the vegetables they grow are just a drop in the bucket and a drop in the bucket. A city can barely accommodate a medium-sized guild population of 50,000 people. Even so, there is only one fresh vegetable in the meal for two days. After all, growing vegetables, even those with woody abilities that catalyze and accelerate growth, cannot grow in just one or two days. As for spiritual goods such as chili peppers, cigarettes, and alcohol that can carry stress and refresh the mind, they are simply in high demand. The surviving humans have survived zombies, endured hunger, and natural disasters, waiting for mental stress. Some ordinary people, due to excessive mental pressure, cannot handle it, often go crazy, and many commit suicide. The Yen Huang Empire, with a population of 1.6 billion, had 70% mutated into zombies, 10% died at the mouth of zombies, and 10% died from various disasters, diseases, and hunger. As for the remaining 10%, at least half of them resisted zombies and died. The estimated survival rate is no more than 3%. Take the current city of Tianhai as an example, it used to have a population of over 25 million. After the outbreak of the apocalypse, there were only over 2 million left until the establishment of the city. Five years after the end of the apocalypse, humans migrated to Kunlun Mountains and Shenangjia, and at that time, the population of Tianhai city was less than 500,000. And Yi Junmo died on the road to the transfer of Shenangjia. Remembering the great shift, Yi Junmo's eyes were filled with a cold color. You're not curious, why do I handle companies at a low price and purchase a large amount of various materials? On the way to the parking lot, Yi Junmo stopped to look at Sophie and asked. Upon hearing this, Sophie looked up and met Yi Junmo with determination in her eyes. She cut off the railway with her nails. As long as I can follow Yi Xiao, even if I can only live a civilian life, Fayer is willing to do so. Upon hearing Sophie say so, Yi Junmo smiled. From now on, call me Junmo. Night is too unfamiliar. June Mo. Gently touched Sophie's cheek. Let's go, go home. Above the balcony on the third floor of Panlongshan Villa. Yi Junmo wrapped himself in a towel and looked at the endless sea in the distance, with surging waves. A mouthful of smoke spewed out from his mouth, and he uttered the words, Human Forbidden Zone. Even five years after the end of the world, humans dare not easily explore the edge of the ocean, let alone the depths of the ocean, where is the true terror. A car carrying meat, vegetables, and fruits, go to the refrigeration room over there to load the goods. For external transportation, first unload the goods from the vehicle and place them outside the cold storage. The speed of transportation inside should be fast, and on hot days, there should be no delay. After unloading the goods, the vehicle should leave quickly. Outside the suburban warehouse, Wang Hao was commanding with a large loudspeaker. Yi Junmo sat in the large RV on the side, quietly watching the busy movers with the air conditioning on. In no time, Wang Hao ran to the side of the RV, sweating profusely, and knocked on the door. Watching Yi Junmo open the car door, Wang Hao smiled and spoke. Night is short. After unloading the supplies today, it's estimated that the cold storage won't be able to accommodate them. Yi Junmo saw Wang Hao sweating profusely and handed him a banner, saying, How many cars have you had? So far, 571 vehicles have been unloaded, and there are still over a thousand vehicle supplies behind. If there were no cold storage for meat, vegetables, and fruits on this hot day, they would smell and rot all night long. Before Yi Jun could speak, Wang Hao spoke again. Night is short, there are still three vacant warehouses ahead, and all of them have large cold storage facilities. Look. Manager Wang, I'll transfer 7 million to you. On the night of the 11th, I need all the supplies to be stored in the warehouse. Before Wang Hao could finish speaking, Yi Junmo interrupted him directly. 
What he originally thought was to go and collect the supplies into the system space at night when the cold storage was full. As for why the goods suddenly disappeared overnight, he wouldn't explain anything to Wang Hao or those porters. However, now that Wang Hao has said so, it is possible to unload the goods and store them in the system space. Anyway, there are still a few million on me, so it's useless to keep them. After the outbreak of the apocalypse, using paper money to light cigarettes felt like an extra program, not to mention the elusive and meaningless numbers. Good night, I promise to arrange it for you. I will go and have someone open the other three cold storage rooms in advance. Chapter 5 Killing Wang Hao You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 6 Going to the University City You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 7 Apocalyptic Explosion you are listening at NovelFull.audio. At this moment, Sophie also got off the passenger seat. Li Wei saw Sophie and his eyes lit up. The obscenity in his eyes was not concealed, and his eyes kept scrutinizing her. I know you, your name is Sophie, right? One of last year's freshman school beauties, 100,000 yuan, let me sleep. Click. Before Li Wei could finish speaking, a crisp sound came from under his crotch, which was the sound of broken eggs. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Li Wei, who was originally holding the girl and harboring malicious intentions toward Sophie, instantly lay on the ground weak and powerless. Like a skinny shrimp, it tightly covers its crotch with both hands, its eyeballs protruding, and its mouth emitting a scream of agony. The sudden change left Li Wei's lackey and the girl stunned. Everyone looked at Yi Junmo standing in front of Li Wei, expressionless, with a cold expression in his eyes, slowly stopping his feet. Mechanically, he turned his head again to look at Li Wei, who was howling and his pants stained red with blood, so frightened that he couldn't speak. Yi Jun lowered his eyes and looked down at Li Wei, who was howling on the ground. He stepped on his mouth and rubbed it hard, causing blood to flow out of his mouth. Then he controlled his strength and kicked him on the forehead, causing him to faint. Glancing at Li Wei's three lackeys, he spoke coldly. Take him to the nearby garden and watch over him. If you dare to take him away from school, labor and management will break your third leg. Seeing three dog legs nodding mechanically, Yi Junmo approached the stunned Sophie and led her little hand towards the broadcasting room. Wait for Yi Jun not to leave, a few dog legs tremble. Look at me, I look at you. One of them reluctantly spoke up. What? What should I do? Are you really waiting here? Do you want to take Mr. Lee to the hospital? Didn't you hear him say we should take them to the garden and wait? I can't afford to provoke these wealthy second-generation people. Come on. Carry it to the garden and the teacher will come soon after discovering it. The three dog legs were so frightened that their faces turned pale. They looked at Li Wei, who had fainted, and his bleeding crotch, and carefully lifted them up. The woman in Li Wei's arms, seeing Yi Jun not leaving, was frightened and ran away. Cough. Broadcasting room, Yi Junmo tried the microphone and the effect was pretty good. I am the newly appointed teaching director. For all students currently in the cafeteria, playground, and supermarket, please go to your respective classes immediately. For students who are still in the dormitory, please stay well in your respective dormitories and do not wander around randomly. The school has important matters to announce. I am the new teaching director. The hoarse voice of Yi Junmo kept spreading along with the school broadcast, and countless students rushed towards the teaching building for a moment. I saw countless students walking towards the teaching building through the broadcasting room, with satisfied smiles in their eyes. Turn off the radio switch and turn to look at Sophie, whose eyes were full of doubts and hesitant to speak. Yi Junmo took out the sword box directly from the system and leaned against one wall. 
Sophie saw Yi Junmo suddenly take out a rectangular sword box out of thin air, with a pair of beautiful eyes wide open and a small mouth instantly turning into an O. She even raised her hand and rubbed her eyes, thinking she had been blinded. Hee <laughs> hee. Looking at Sophie's surprised expression, Yi Junmo just smiled faintly. Jun Jun Mo. You'll understand in a moment. Ding. The end of the world has come. New feature in the system, two empty lottery cans for beginner money. Note. There is a very small chance that higher dot level items will appear in the beginner can. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a small gift pack for the end of the world whether to claim. Claim and open the small gift package. Looking up at the sky, Yi Junmo saw a sudden blood cloud that had begun to slowly cover up the sun. He heard the sound of the system in his mind and couldn't help but smile in his eyes. I didn't expect there to be a gift package. Ding. Open the small gift package. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the basic knife technique. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the basic body method. Do you understand? Understanding. In the process of comprehension. Suddenly, Yi Junmo felt a blurry figure in his mind, holding a long sword and practicing his body movements continuously. Tipping, stabbing, cutting, chopping, breaking, wiping, tying, entanglement, chopping. Continuously rhythmically changing dozens of movements, like flowing clouds and water. Just as Yi Jun Mo comprehended the sword technique and body technique, the originally sunny sky was instantly covered in a bloody haze. At this moment, all the humans on the Emperor's Sphere looked up at the sky, not understanding why the good weather suddenly covered the sun with blood clouds and blood mist. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully comprehending. Who? A mouthful of turbid air exhaled, and Yi Jun, who had originally closed his eyes to comprehend, slowly opened his eyes. He can now not only save energy with every move, but also achieve knife and knife hits. I feel like a master of swordsmanship who has been silent for many years, wielding swords like flowing clouds and water. Jun Jun Mo, is this the end of the world? Hmm. Yi Junmo heard Sophie's voice and turned his head to look at her. He saw her tightly hugging him, her eyes staring under the window in fear. Following Sophie's gaze, what caught his eye was a student with a withered face, pale eyes, and a low growl that had just turned into a zombie. Suddenly, Yi Junmo felt an invisible energy constantly seeping into his body. At this moment, the system sound remembered again. Ding! In the process of awakening powers. One percent originally, it was a power awakening. He remembers when he awakened his superpowers in the previous life, he never felt this kind of energy seeping into his body. Is it these blood mist? Shaking off the thoughts in his mind, he looked at Sophie beside him and whispered. Fair, this world is about to undergo a major change, and the human order is collapsing, entering the era of the law of the jungle where the law of the fittest prevails. If you want to be by my side forever, then you have to overcome all kinds of fears. As for just now when you saw me suddenly taking out a sword box out of nowhere, it was because I had storage space. And the supplies we hoarded back then were also in the storage space. As for how I knew in advance about the end of the world and how I had storage space. You can understand it as a divination technique, as well as the early awakening of a superpower called Superpower. Yi Junmo finished speaking and met Sophie's four eyes, watching as the fear in Sophie's eyes slowly dissipated, revealing a satisfied smile. Now telling Sophie these are just getting vaccinations in advance, and when she experiences more things, she will naturally understand the cruelty of the apocalypse. He doesn't want Sophie to become a vase, as seen from the previous life when Sophie bravely blocked the zombie for him to escape. Sophie is definitely capable of taking on great kindness, but she just can't change at this moment. If she really encounters danger, she will definitely step forward and stand in front of her. That 95% favorability is not a joke. Since Yi Junmo took the initiative to caress Sophie, her liking has increased by two points in the past ten days. 
After reaching 80% favorability, it is very difficult to increase it by one point, let alone Sophie's 95% favorability. As long as he can see his favorability, he is not afraid of Sophie's betrayal. If it weren't for his good impression, Yi Junmo wouldn't have exposed some cards in front of Sophie like this. The apocalypse is not just about zombies, mutated creatures are terrifying, and human nature is the most terrifying. Perhaps the girl who just finished a fight with you will have already pierced your body with a long knife in her hand the next second. Perhaps the biological brothers who used to chat and laugh with you would instantly behead you. These situations are not surprising in the apocalypse. You can never guess a person's true thoughts inside. Suddenly. Screams and roars filled the entire campus in an instant. Ah help, help. Roar. Chapter 8 Hello, Teacher Ouyang. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 9 Waiting for Rescue You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Yi Jun is not saying that he is closing his eyes and recuperating, but in reality, he is looking at the new features of the system. The system has added a can lottery function, nothing else. Money empty junior jar. Draw 10 first dot order corpse crystals once. Or. Draw 1 second dot order corpse crystal once. Draw 90 first dot order corpse crystals 10 times. Or. Draw 9 second dot order corpse crystals 10 times. Note. The empty money lottery can only draw all items related to cultivation, including weapons, abilities, and thank you for your patronage. Life supplies are not included. After learning about the lottery jar, Yi Junmo finally glanced at the thank you for your patronage notice and closed the system interface directly. Wait until there are more corpse crystals before playing the lottery jar of this system. You don't have to guess, you know it's a penguin probability. I guess it's even worse than a penguin, especially that one. Thank you for your patronage. Teacher Ouyang, our phones are all unusable. What should we do now? A woman named Li Jing beside Ouyang Bing asked her. Teacher Ouyang, come up with a solution. I don't want to die. Another woman named Tang Yi also asked Ouyang Bing. Now these two usually lively and cheerful women no longer have any independent opinions, and can only seek help from Ouyang Bing, a teacher of the people. Ouyang Bing heard two girls asking her, and she didn't know what to do. Now there are all those terrifying, withered zombies outside, what can she do? Ouyang Bing took a deep breath and forced himself to calm down, comforting the two women. Wait, if such a terrifying event occurs at the school, the authorities will definitely know it as soon as possible. We will hide here and wait for official rescue, maybe the official troops are already on their way. The two women nodded at the words. And when the four boys heard Ouyang Bing say so, they all felt reasonable. It is impossible for the authorities not to handle such a major terrorist incident that occurred in the school. The thought of the official coming to deal with those zombies instantly relaxed everyone's originally uneasy heart. Buried in Sophie's arms, Yi Junmo closed his eyes and regained his senses. Upon hearing Ouyang Bing say so, a hint of sarcastic mockery appeared on the corner of his mouth. If this group of people knew it was a global disaster, not just a small campus, they wouldn't know what their mood would be. Teacher Ouyang, is our school studying any viruses? Li Jing suddenly asked Ouyang Bing again. The other few people, upon hearing Li Jing's words, all coincidentally looked at Ouyang Bing. Ouyang Bing saw everyone turning their gaze towards him, and the corners of his mouth twitched. I'm not sure, we're a music and art school, so there shouldn't be any biological research or anything like that. Why do those classmates turn into zombies for no reason? Ouyang Bing looked at Li Jing, who had been asking questions, with a look of silence in his eyes, and he really wanted to ask her. Are you one hundred thousand wise? How did I know? Now my little heart is so scared that it keeps beating non-stop. Ouyang Bing, after all, is a teacher of the people, 
so naturally he won't speak his mind. I just shook my head, indicating that I don't understand either. Yi De Xiao is really different. Even if such a terrifying event happens in school, you can still sleep. It seems that as long as there is a beautiful woman by your side, even if the sky falls, Yi De Xiao can still be as stable as an old dog. At this point, a boy sitting on the ground stood up and spoke sarcastically at Yi Junmo. Speaking of it, there is a hint of targeting everywhere. Even the last sentence compared Yi Junmo to an old dog. Hello. Forestry, how are you speaking? Before Yi Junmo could respond, Li Jing, who was sitting on the ground beside her, jumped up and scolded the boy who was targeting Yi Junmo and calling him forestry with an unfriendly expression. Forestry, did Yi Xiao not offend you? Do you want to speak so harshly? Another woman, Tang Yi, was also looking at the forestry industry and asked. Forestry glanced at Yi Junmo, who was indifferent, frowned, and looked at Qin Tian in secret. Qin Tian nodded slightly. Forestry spoke to Li Jing and Tang Yi with a fierce expression on their faces. It's none of your business, two mentally disabled women. Who are you talking about being mentally disabled? You are the only one who is mentally disabled, your whole family is mentally disabled. Li Jing heard Forestry say she was mentally disabled and exploded, showing a strong desire to work hard with Forestry. Ouyang Bing saw everyone arguing and quickly stood in the middle, speaking with a cold expression on his face. What do you want to do? Now that there are zombie monsters outside, are you still in the mood to argue? Then Ouyang Bing looked at Forestry and spoke again in an educational tone. If it weren't for Yi Jun opening the door for us just now, maybe we would have been divided and eaten by those monsters outside. Forestry, this is a villainous behavior, you know. The two women saw Ouyang Bing's indifferent expression and could only snort coldly at Forestry. Upon hearing Ouyang Bing educate him, Forestry also snorted coldly and sat down on the ground again. If it weren't for waiting for official rescue, fearing that this female teacher, Ouyang Bing, would give him small shoes in the future, he wouldn't even care about Ouyang Bing in forestry. If it were someone else, not a school teacher, he would give her two eardrops without saying a word. When Ouyang Bing saw several students who were still unaware of unity and were still sleeping, Yi Junmo felt his head grow bigger. Sophie remembered to refute Yi Junmo when she was in the forestry industry, but was secretly stopped by Yi Junmo. It's just a clown jumping off a beam, just pinch it as you please. He is now thinking about how to make Sophie and Ouyang Bing, this beautiful woman, see the darkness of human nature. Yi Junmo has already taken a liking to this mature and capable beauty. Although he can act recklessly now. He still wants to choose the latter between driving once and driving again. Passive once, active countless times. Like Ouyang Bing, who is a top-dot-notch peach, he naturally chooses the latter. As for what to say about forcibly accepting people, now is not the time. Forcibly accepting people can only wait until a stable base is established in the future with absolutely sufficient strength. If you have a crush on someone who doesn't want to follow you, then you must force them to accept it. If it's not a big deal, just be a canary and feed it. I don't need to get your heart, as long as you are the one. Twisted melon may not be sweet, but quenching thirst is enough. Thinking about it, without realizing it, I had already raised my head and chest high. Since taking super strengthening liquid, the body has become increasingly powerful. I don't know if the system will be able to elevate his waist to a treasure of titanium alloy waste and diamond waste in the future. Iron kidneys can also make do with it. In the apocalypse, it is simply sorry that he was reborn without receiving many top-dot-notch beauties to nourish his eyes. In my previous life, I had to go to the place where I traded meat and skin in order to be able to make a fire. Moreover, some top-dot-notch beauties are captured by powerful forces and can only be peeked at from afar to satisfy their eyes. The pressure of the apocalypse is great, and such needs must be arranged as soon as possible. Sophie felt the transformation of Yi Junmo, her pretty face flushed with color. Chapter 10 
Apocalypse Good. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Watching Sophie blush, Yi Junmo leaned over to her shio ear and teased her, saying. I miss you. A stream of hot air sprayed onto Sophie's cheeks. Suddenly. Sophie felt weak and powerless all over, nestling in the arms of Yi Junmo. Hee hee. Watching Sophie's appearance, Yi Junmo burst into laughter. But when Qin Tian and his companions saw the two flirting and flirting, they felt jealous, speechless, and indifferent with various emotions. Teacher Ouyang, you said you are waiting for official rescue. Why don't you come to the window and take a look at the distance? Yi Junmo hugged Sophie and turned to look at Ouyang Bing with a smile on her face. Upon hearing Yi Junmo's words, Ouyang Bing frowned and took two steps to the window to look up. His eyes instantly showed disbelief. The broadcasting room has a spacious terrain here, and when looking out of the city from the window, one can see thick black smoke coming from various places. Those black smoke, some are vehicle collisions and combustion, some are fires caused by human riots. As long as you stand by the window and look into the distance of the city, you will find countless places emitting thick black smoke. Moreover, through the cracks in some buildings of the school, one can also see zombies and fleeing humans on the streets outside the school. If you open the window, not only can you hear the screams and screams inside the school, but also outside the school, it's deafening. Apart from the roar of zombies, the screams and screams of humanity, and various collisions, there are no other sounds heard in this city. The rustling of cars on the road has now become a thing of the past. Tianhai City, once known as the Fiery Yellow Star, is no longer as prosperous as before. What caught Ouyang Bing's eye was this scene. How? How could this happen? What exactly happened? Ouyang Bing no longer has the steady demeanor of just coming out to stop the forestry team from arguing. Seeing the thick smoke everywhere in the city, her pretty face turned pale. Seeing Ouyang Bing, who was only a few centimeters away from him, Yi Junmo couldn't help but close his eyes and take a deep breath. Smell the faint smell of perfume on her body. Hmm. It's the taste of a mature beauty. What's wrong, Teacher Ouyang? Li Jing, Tang Yi, Qin Tian, Forestry and others heard the trembling words from Ouyang Bing's mouth and also came to the window. After seeing the thick smoke rolling, everyone's eyes were wide open. Is this the end of the world? Li Jing's body trembled and her mouth murmured softly. Not bad, the end of the world. The world is witnessing this scene, and from then on, humanity will enter a cruel era of darkness and bloodthirsty. And all electronic products that you know or don't know will lose their effectiveness, just like your phone, becoming a piece of scrap metal. It is not an exaggeration to say that human civilization has gone back to ancient times. And the official and so dot called, rescue, you mentioned will never come. Yi Junmo looked at Li Jing with a different smile in his eyes and kindly explained to her. Boom. Yi Junmo's words were like a deep dot water bomb, exploding heavily in everyone's hearts. They have to believe what their eyes see. Silence, silence, silence. Ha ha ha. Suddenly. A burst of laughter echoed in the broadcasting room. The end of the world is so good. The world is coming to an end, and labor and management can do as they please. At this moment, Lin Lin burst into laughter, his eyes filled with endless madness. Everyone heard the laughter of forestry and withdrew their thoughts. Qin Tian glanced at Yi Junmo, then glanced at the milk and bread next to him, and spoke. If it's really what you said, then the world is really crazy. Who said it's not? Yi Jun shrugged his shoulders and didn't even go to see him. Qin Tian squinted his eyes as he watched Yi Jun not underestimate him so much. Nowadays, there are zombies everywhere outside. If we keep staying here, we will starve to death. When everyone heard Qin Tian say this, their faces became even more ugly. Outside are densely packed zombies, there is no food here, and there will be no rescue. If it goes on for a long time, they will only have a dead end. 
I, I didn't even have breakfast. I didn't eat either. If we stay here all the time, we'll probably starve to the point of not having much strength by night. Tomorrow, we might not be able to walk, and in two more days, we'll starve to death. Li Jing and Tang Yi murmured softly, their lips trembling. But Ou Yang Bing almost couldn't stand firm when he heard what the two women were saying. Because they are telling the truth, if there is no rescue, they will have to starve to death. Here. Yi Junmo saw his two brainless fans and smiled faintly. He picked up the milk and bread beside him and handed them to them. The two women saw the milk and bread handed over by Yi Junmo and instinctively took them over. Li Jinggang opened the bread and intended to put it in his mouth. He looked at Yi Junmo and saw that there were only two boxes of milk and a piece of bread left. Divided a small portion and placed the bag containing more than half of the bread on the table next to Yi Junmo. I can't eat that much at night, you keep this. Tang Yi saw Li Jing's operation and divided it in half, placing it on the table. Yi Junmo glanced at the bread beside him, didn't say anything, just nodded slightly. Hey, Yi Junmo, since you're not hungry, give me the milk and bread next to you, and you two brainless women give me the bread. At this moment, Forestry shouted loudly at Yi Junmo and then turned to Li Jing in Tang Yi, shouting loudly. Since the end of the world has erupted, then these wealthy second dot generation people are nothing now. Li Jing, who had just taken a sip of milk, was startled by Tang Yi's sudden and loud scolding from Forestry. I was just about to question Forestry if you have a big face. If you say I'll give it to you, then I'll give it to you. As a result, looking up, Li Jing and Tang Yi saw the fierce expression on Forestry's face. The two women instinctively swallowed their saliva. Li Jing still mustered the courage to speak up. Forestry, if you say, give it to you, then give it to you. Who are you? Li Jing finished speaking, her voice noticeably getting quieter and quieter. Because Forestry's fierce and obscene gaze had already turned towards her. Startled, Li Jing instinctively leaned towards Yi Junmo's side. Ou Yang Bing frowned tightly as he looked at Forestry. Seeing his fierce gaze, there was a deep sense of jealousy in his eyes, but he still stood up and spoke. Forestry, what are you doing? At this time, we need to unite even more. Only through unity can there be hope. Shut up, you slut, what are you doing? Labor wants to fuck you. Before Ouyang Bing could finish speaking, Forestry interrupted her directly. Upon hearing the filthy words from Forestry, Ouyang Bing's delicate body trembled several times in fear. Seeing Forestry's cannibalistic gaze, Ouyang Bing looked at Qin Tian San behind Forestry. I want to see their attitude at this moment. Seeing Qin holding his chest and closing his eyes against the wall, it seemed as if it was none of his business. And the other two boys were smiling, their eyes full of naked aggression, staring at her and the other three girls. Oh Yang Bing was too scared to speak. In this situation, everyone could tell that these three people were a group. Forestry saw Oh Yang Bing at this moment as if a little white rabbit had been frightened, and his heart was filled with satisfaction. Now that he knows the end of the world and there is no official rescue, he may starve to death in a few days, so this so dot called Ouyang Bing teacher is just a plaything for him. Forestry then looked at Yi Junmo again and said coldly. Give me milk and bread, and then you take two women down to look for food, otherwise. I'll throw you down now to feed the zombies.